The first thing is to go to the Hot Potatoes website, which is located at hotpot.uvic.ca. Next step is to download the Hot Potatoes. I go to the Downloads area. And there I choose the Hot Potato 6 Self Extractor. I have to save it. I want to save it in my download folder. I'll make a directory called Hot Potatoes. And save it in that folder. As soon as the file has downloaded, I open the folder and I double click on the program to start the installation. I select Run. I select Setup. I then have to choose the language to use during the installation. I choose English. And now I get to the Setup Wizard and I click Next. I have to read the software license agreement. It is important to notice that Hot, Hot Potatoes is not a free program, but a program that you can use under certain conditions. The main thing is that it's not legal to use it for commercial purposes, and you always have to share your end result online, otherwise you have to pay a license. Anyway, a license is rather inexpensive and I would suggest that you consider uh, getting a license. I accept the agreement. I click Next. I want to install it. I click Next, Next and Install. Basically, all you have to do is to accept all the suggestions. And now it's ready to launch. Before I launch it for the first time, I can choose the interface. It has a lot of different options. Albanian, Catalan, German, Spanish, Estonian, Finnish, French, etc. But I decide to use the English interface. To register and open the program, I go to the menu where it says Help. I click on Register. If I have a username, I would type it in now and I would paste in the key. Otherwise, I click on the button called Get a Key. It will now go to the Hot Potatoes website where I can apply for a registration key. My first step is to read the license terms. And there again, I'm told that Hot Potatoes is not freeware. I read through the conditions of use. And finally, I check that I have read the agreement. I type in my first personal name, my last name, and my email address. ka at ots.dk. Then I click on the country, Denmark, there, and submit. After I have submitted, I will receive an email with the registration information. I've just read the email and I now know that my username is Kent Anderson and the key, OK. That's all there is to it. Registration completed. I now have five different programs available. One that will create a close exercise with fill-in gaps, a quiz exercise, and the quiz has different options. You can have multiple choice quizzes or short answer quizzes. There is a crossword exercise, a mix sentence exercise where it will mix the words and a user will have to drag and drop the words in the correct sequence. And finally a match exercise which can be used for matching pictures with words or 
sentences with other sentences.